Ed here with the Digital Digest, and today I'm taking a look at the Asus ROG Strix X870F motherboard. This retails for $399 US dollars at the time of this unboxing. I'll include a link in the description for those of you interested in purchasing one. And in full disclosure, this was not furnished to me by the manufacturer, but rather I purchased this with my own money. So for those of you that subscribe, you already know that I recently unboxed this guy right here, the Ryzen 7 9800X3D CPU, arguably the best gaming uh, processor on the market right now, at least if you're playing titles that are CPU bound more than GPU bound and aren't rocking GPUs like these or a 4090 or a 5080 or a 5090. Well, now you need a motherboard for this best-in-class gaming CPU. Of course, AM5 uh, chipset, and that's where this guy comes in. Now, this is expensive, no question about it, but it has pretty much every feature under uh, the sun that you could possibly want. At least that's what I saw uh, when I saw it in store, and of course was already aware of it, uh, and that's because the I.O. on this board is excellent, or at least promises to be. So quickly going over this, uh, the AMD socket, of course, the chipset I mentioned before, the AM5. So whether you have a 9000, 8000, or 7000 series CPU, it will work. Um, AMD chipset specifically is the X870. And then, essentially, uh, you have four DIMM slots for your DDR5 RAM. Uh, this is an ATX board, for those of you that are wondering. I did think about going uh, with something, something a little bit smaller, but I still think this is where the real advantages are um, with this new chipset at least for me personally. So when it comes to storage, big, big part of this, obviously Gen 5 uh, NVMEs. Uh, it takes 2242, 2260, and 2280 drives. Uh, the second slot is also Gen 5 capable. Uh, and then your third slot is Gen 4. Fourth slot is also Gen 4. And then you have two traditional SATA uh, ports as well. So if storage is what you're after, this is going to be, at least it should be, a dream board. And then it has all these uh, improvements for quick release, things that are just really convenient um, for access to your NVMe, as well as sizing of the NVMe's uh, dual uh, PCI uh, 5 slots, as I mentioned before. So just a lot to like here. And then you'll see the, the I.O. as I get this open in a second. So let's go ahead and crack this baby open. And it just seemed like an ideal pairing uh, for that AMD CPU. Uh, for me, again, uh, the Wi-Fi 7, nice to have. I believe that the Ethernet port on this is a 5-gig port, um, so that's also really impressive um, for those of you that actually plan to use it. Uh, my, I will be one of them. So here are uh, what I believe are the antennas for the Wi-Fi 7 chipset. I'm going to slide that back in. I'm not too worried about that. Let's get to the board itself, and let's take a look at what we've got because this is a heavy baby and I will see if there's anything else we've got some paperwork some cabling I'm gonna put this back in and get it out of the way and let's take a look at the board itself because this is this is what we're here for and you know from a price standpoint again I do feel that 399 is a lot there's no question about it I think that most of you out there you know, are going to, you don't need this expensive of a board, but my options were limited uh, at Best Buy. And remember this entire build for me, I'm going to go ahead and just cut this tape, was really based around just happen, happening to pass by uh, inventory for this processor and me being fully aware of just how coveted uh, right now uh, the 9800 is. So once I saw that I had a chance to bring arguably, I think, one of the most feature-rich, granted, most expensive boards on the market home, I see an upside because this is really where the upside is for me right now in the new architecture. Not so much in all the gaming prowess of this guy, but this is just a much more modern motherboard than the one I'm working with now, which is only a year and change old. But we just have standards of difference here that 
just weren't around. So I believe this also has like an easy quick release for the actual GPU. Um, the heatsink here, I've read mixed things about just not being amazing. I like the little pull tab, but it's really just a chunk of aluminum. So it's just a, a huge heatsink, not really anything from an engineering standpoint, and just branding out the wazoo, as you may have already noticed. But let's get to the actual I.O. You can see they've kind of concealed everything with plates here just for aesthetic, which I don't think is a bad thing. But as we go to the actual I.O. on the back panel, this is where things get really interesting. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in, um, at least, again, for me. And I'm going to have to check my preview monitor here um, in order to do this practically. So go ahead and frame that up for you. So starting at the top, and bear with me here, of course, you can see we've got, trying to, to do my best here, the display port. Um, and then you also have uh, your BIOS, uh, but then underneath, and then HDMI 2.1 out, the ability to clear right there. I mean, just a lot sitting there. Now, this is two and a half. I said five. It's another uh, revision of the board. Um, so forget what I said there. But when we come to that USB uh, 4 capability, also compatible with Thunderbolt, you can see we've got three ports right here. Um, the first one is that full 40 uh, gigabit throughput. It looks like then these two are display port, and I'm trying to see. It's just from the angle, very difficult. So I'm going to bring the the board over to myself to just get a closer look here. So yeah, these are full throughput port one and two. The third is only a 10 gig, so one uh, gig throughput there, 10 gigabit. Um, but it also is showing a Thunderbolt port, uh, or rather Thunderbolt uh, icon on it. So not the same, you know, not the full, but then all four of the type A USB ports that flank it are also um, USB 3.2, 3.2 Gen 2, they're all 1 gig or 10 gigabit ports, and then 5 gigabit on the four type A USBs below. Um, and then, you know, the, the buttons I mentioned before was clearing uh, the CMOS as well as um, being able to uh, flash BIOS. I'm just looking at what else we've got here. Uh, your Wi Fi antennas, I'm going to bring it back into frame. Sorry, I had to look at that, but it's the first time I'm actually seeing this in person. So again, all the ports here, as I mentioned, uh, these guys are all, uh, the first two USB-Cs are full USB 4, 40 gig, and then step down to 10, these are 10, these are 10 uh, gigabit, and then this guy also, I believe, was 10, yep. Um, and it's just great that they have all of this I.O. on board. Uh, your antenna connection points, uh, line out and in for microphone, SPDIF. If you want to use optical out, you've got it. So it's just a really uh, feature-rich board. No question about that. And then all of the capability that they've built in for utilizing just smarter engineering for access to all of this stuff. And I'll save that for another video. You can see the little pull tabs here for getting to all the um, uh, PCIe and NVMe uh, additional storage since it all lives under these panels. Um, but it's just very cool stuff. So, and just to give you an example with this guy, that's how easily you get in to access your main NVMe drive. Uh, so, and then they've got that whole sizing system. So these are things I will be playing with showing all of you, just to give you an idea. Once I get this up and running, if I decide to end up sticking with this, um, I have not gotten Ram yet, uh, or a power supply and I still haven't picked out a case, but because I went with an ATX board, that's not going to be a problem at all. Um, not doing anything niche here. It's really just going to be um, a beast of a gaming system. So power supply and RAM uh, are next on my list along with a case. I already have plenty of GPUs. Uh, I'm not sure whether I'm going to go with the 4080 or the 4090 in this build, but we'll see. Uh, but yeah, that's the beginning of the build for 2025. Any questions or comments, please feel free to post them. Hit that like button. And as usual, please feel free to subscribe and please stay safe. Later.